So we are online, everyone. Hello from the Mechanics Institute. Welcome, everyone. Uh, thanks for joining us. We're about to start the uh, Tuesday night online here. Uh, all, not quite from downtown San Francisco, but uh, in spirit for sure. Uh, I'm Abel Talamantes, uh, chess director at the Mechanics Institute, and with me is FIDE master Paul Whitehead and uh, Dr. Judith Starry. And uh, Jim Ead uh, will not be joining us tonight because uh, I think he had uh, some dental work or something, so it's a little to be a little tough. But he's going to be watching the broadcast. So it's going to be the three of us, and uh, we think that we're going to have a very special guest, Natalia Sadikova, a women's feeding master, and uh, the wife of uh, two-time defending champion, uh, international master Ross Sadikov, who uh, as of yet has not registered for the tournament. Uh, he, he might be mate waiting to make his... Uh, grand appearance uh, uh there's, there's a few players we're looking for we're, we're wondering what happened to Rui uh who herself was a, a two-time uh back-to-back -back winner um so right now we have uh 40 players uh oh Eric just registered yeah the top seed right now is uh Fide master Eric Lee who just okay entered. great player Abhinav Panagalapati he's uh, number two uh, Ninja Trick uh, Rohan uh, Rajaram is number three or currently in number four spot is uh, Omya Vidyarthi uh, women's candidate master uh, Christian Clemens we got Anthony Rosenbosser Lauren Goodkind uh, so so we have uh, strong players but uh, we're waiting on Rost and we're waiting on some of the other uh, top regulars uh who you know we haven't seen on the tuesday uh, including kyron griffith video master uh elliot winslow we're wondering uh uh where he's at so but as is typical mechanics uh they wait for the last three minutes to kind of like join in so let's see what happens in the last few minutes here but so uh how's everything going paul judith i'm doing fine getting through the pandemic here <laughs> uh, it's been a rocky road the only way um, we know how uh, i'm glad to be chess. working um uh for the mechanics institute chess club during this time it's been uh it's been a bit of a lifeline for me too so no, um you. come and visit the club when we're open and yeah when we soon i hope yeah hopefully soon uh and uh when it opens up uh, uh we you know just follow us and uh, you'll know when it's open. But uh, while we're closed right now, we have a lot of, uh, we're still doing events. Obviously we got daily tournaments. Uh, one big special event we have this Saturday is the San Francisco Scholastic Championship. It's going to be online. Uh, this event is usually in Golden Gate Park. Um, but uh, this year uh, we moved it online. Uh, we're going to have over 200 players. Uh, incredible. Participating, which is incredible. Uh, the platforms are Chess Kid for uh, almost all the sections, and then the championship section is going to be on Chess.com. Are those is the championship section the game the section that we'll be commenting on? Correct. So uh, okay. So we'll be streaming. Uh, that I'm today. kind of hoping you guys will both Chess.com and Chess Kid. I mean, we should okay. we should cover a few Chess Kid um, yeah. games too. And there's no reason we can't. It's yeah, simply, just switch you know, back and forth. Yeah, just switch back for our John Canessa uh, just I'll set up both of the and both of the tabs, and and it's easy to switch back and forth. <laughs> I hope so. And so. Judy, is, uh, someone in the chat is asking you to join the tournament. Oh no! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, uh, yeah, so that that'll be a fantastic event, not just for the event itself, but. Uh, uh, we have a lot of special guests that are going to be coming in to uh, uh, spend a few minutes with us on the broadcast, including um, uh, Alexandra Botez. Uh, she'll be jumping in. Uh, Coach Jay Stallings. Uh, Grandmaster Sam Shanklin is going to show up. Um, wow. Grandmaster Susan Polgar is going to jump in. Wow. Uh, Jim Ead will be there. Uh, and... Uh, we're, we're just going to have a lot of uh, star firepowers out supporting uh, kit, Scholastic Chess in the tournament, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. I think I said wow too many times. But. Well, there's not enough times to really capture it when you consider everything that's happening. So, yeah. 
And then the following weekend, the weekend of March 30th and the 31st, we're going to have our first uh, uh, prize fund tournament, uh, Mechanics Institute uh, Rapid and Blitz. Uh, May 30th is the Rapid, 31st is the Blitz. Uh, check out our website, and we'll be throwing the link in the messages. Okay, so. everyone, it's pairing time. 47 players initially. Uh, so let's see. Someone just joined. And we got uh, Eric Lee and Chess Boy. In, okay, uh, and now I'll, I'll set up the games like I usually do quickly and then and, uh, adjust Ross, the board. Ross Sotikov is not in. Is not in. Amazing. And, and Natalia is not here, so I'm wondering, is it like a... A holiday from chess. It's a, it's a family. for chess, or, or, or were they fighting and just not... That's it. No, <laughs> let's, let's not play chess this evening, huh? But maybe they. You um, know. I'm I'm noticing a very unfortunate pairing uh, right off the bat. I'm, I, if if it's if what I'm seeing is right, I'm seeing a ninja trick, which is Rohan Rajaram paired against Anika Rajaram. Yeah. So this is what happens. That's yeah, what so that's I'm what happens. That. <laughs> yeah, I got paired so. with my brother Jay many many times. Yeah, because you guys are like maybe beat, fifteen times. You guys something. are beating everybody, so you guys have to play each other. <laughs> So uh, when we get a chance, we can check in on uh, Eric Lee and see. Uh, yeah, let's um, start at the. You want? Shall we start at the? What's the time control again for everybody? It um, is a game in ten with plus two. Yeah. Okay. And I just posted it on on our title. Oh, hi, Natalia. <laughs> hi. How are you? Good. Okay, Natalia. <laughs> How's it going? Uh, is your is uh, Ross around somewhere? Is he? Uh, no, he's gonna. Uh, he has some issue, a like production issue at work. Uh, so okay. He only will get me today. No, uh, we you know we, you, we, we want we, 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 we want you first. We want you first, <laughs> and then <Okay>. you know. <laughs> So at least you you get like fifty percent of us. <laughs> <laughs> well, we get the good part because uh, okay. you and Paul are absolute stars when you jump in and do uh, commentary together. Oh. So. Well, well, we we yeah. were even talking if Judith and I should just turn our cameras off and then you guys just like do the broadcast <laughs> and then the uh, ratings will go up more. Yeah. We get out no, of the I'm way. getting out of shape because I haven't done it in a while, right? So it's like. Well, all we have to do is <laughs> laugh. <laughs> yeah, just smile and laugh. I'm a professional commentator. Hi, guys. Uh, I'm sorry. I need to handle some issues at work. I'll join you later. No okay. problem. No problem. Sounds good. Thanks, Ross. <laughs> Bye. And then um, <laughs> I'm I'm looking at uh, I know yeah, we're about this game. So we're, Natalia, I don't know if you um, um, remember. So pull up the Twitch, Twitch.tv/slash/MechanicsChess, uh, but um, mute the Twitch so don't put the sound on. And so then you will see what games we have on, <coughs> and you will be able to comment it with Paul. Um, Paul is looking at the Twitch as well. And I'm not uh, I'm good right now, so I'm not. Uh, uh, I'm I'm using Zoom right now, right? I need to use Twitch instead. Yeah, right. So keep the Zoom. Both. Keep the Zoom Both. and ignore the Zoom because you're you're visible, but you don't need the Zoom uh, uh, to comment. So uh, just minimize the Zoom or something, and then pull up a browser and um, start the Twitch. Okay, guys, you are like, um, it's getting complicated. No, okay, so please. just minimize the zoom. You don't need that, right? No, I, I see like, yeah, you a little bit like, um, okay, the browser, Twitch. Uh, .tv slash uh -huh. mechanics chess. And the reason to watch the Twitch is that you'll be seeing what we all see. Um, oh, I'm, I'm not, Okay. Uh, mechanics chess. That's it. Twitch TV mechanic slash mechanics chess. Yes. Yep. Yes. And you probably have to go through a thirty-second um, advertising. And, and then mute the volume on your Twitch. Mute the volume because you're gonna hear us through the Zoom, and you don't need to hear us again. Uh, how, how do I, uh, and then give the volume on your Twitch. How do I do the volume? Because you're gonna hear. How do I do that? It, it's, I do it's on the screen. Uh, 
So if you call, call, call the, uh, the volume on your Twitch. Call the volume because you're gonna hear. Call the do that. Call it's, the, it's on the screen. Just uh, one second. Like on the left. Hold on, I'll do it. Natalie has a customer support. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so basically you're going to see what board is on Twitch. And uh, when you and Paul are putting your chest brain into the in discussion. That's what chest brain? What chest brain? Yeah. I don't know. What? Okay. So, <laughs> so we have chess boy uh, with um, white against Webkins, who's Eric Lee with black, right? And he, he had Eric running around, but I think when all was said and done, um, he's going to be able to hide that king, although, you know, it was. This is un un this is very unclear here. This is, this is pretty scary. Um, he's going to be able to hide that king, although, you know, it was. This is un this is very unclear Hello. here. I'm hearing I'm hearing my feedback again. <laughs> is it because of me? Yeah. This is very unclear. <laughs> should, I just, should I close it's Zoom? Of me. Should I close Zoom? Uh, no, you definitely want Zoom on so you can hear it live. So, like on the on the bottom left of the Twitch screen, you should see like the volume, and it should be off. It's just Twitch volume. That's yeah. all. Mm -hmm. Just twitch volume. Shut twitch volume off. Twitch volume off. Twitch volume off. Yeah, hold on. I, I'm, I'm going to do Twitch volume off. <laughs> so this is a uh, uh, chess boy is doing great here. He's one a pawn against Eric Lee. Wow. Now is this good for Eric that it's been actually simplified now and now th there's not. Well, I mean, it it looked like this was maybe the best that both players could do here. I mean, now Black is going to get some serious oh. play uh, with the on the diagonal, maybe against the White I mean, King. Is it me? Oh yeah. Who's Chess Boy? I, I I don't think we have that. Um, he, he didn't fill out the the form. Mm -hmm. Well, um, no, it's a Kritin, uh Gopla Gopla La Krishnan. I actually okay. featured one of his awesome. games yeah. newsletter last week. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, he lost to Mugi in that in that game. Yeah. I actually think I played him in the arena last night. I think White is kind of messing around here. Has made some really poor moves. Um, I wonder if there might be some frustration that kind of the attack dissipated and now. Yeah, or but I mean, I mean, Black Black is poised to get a strong, maybe uh, some kind of initiative here on the king side. Um, this is. Despite being a pawn down here, black is the better game. Yeah, I mean, black is kind of roaring down the the H and the G here with that yeah. bishop. But they have a, white has an extra pawn, right? Yes, yeah. right. Yes, white does have an extra pawn. But, yeah. So, but, Natalia, what about like knight H4? Is that... Oh, yeah. Coming up. Yeah, black is... I might be lagging. Knight H4 and Knight F3, maybe. So who's uh this is the first board and um yeah. who's on the second board? That's a ob uh, okay, board two is so second Abinam? board um is um uh, King uh 29, who's I think Abinov. Yeah. And um black is high nine eight seven. Which let's see <laughs> if we have that. We don't have him. Yeah, he, we have it. Li, Li, Ji, Jiang Leo, Leo Jiang. 
Oh, I know Leo. Okay. Wow, that's that, that's high in 987. Well, White has a nice game here. Two bishops. I, I believe it, uh, from London system, right? So I believe this um, uh, divide. Uh, I believe he played twice Ross before, and he like uh, uh, very you know like the London system. He knows like all the opening moves, and like it's his like uh, you know. Twenty nine. You mean? Yeah. Yeah. So it's standard kind of like yeah, h3 and bishop h2, and then probably e4 was played at some point. I definitely like white's game here with the pressure in the center, and maybe black should play knight c4. And he played knight c8, right? Yeah. To move uh, to g6 and e4, maybe. I mean, white white has uh, white has oh, a nice game. Knight e5 or, you know, doubling on the a file or trying to play b3 and c4 or something. We'll just have to see what happens. But uh, white's also nicely ahead on the clock. So white's just going for the three bishops. Three bishops. Three bishops. <laughs> well, I have to compliment you. Your commentary is like spot on. I don't think I would win this tournament without you, to be honest. <laughs> oh, wow. game, I was making little traps and I see your commentary. Oh, Rost is trying to do this. Oh, no, it's not going to work because Rook is defending. Like, <laughs> 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 so like, <laughs> you know, you've played very good chess, Rost. Very I good. Blitz. I played Blitz very good. Like I really like the way I played Blitz. Uh, rapid, I got... I mean, it went my way. Like Two, two critical games with Elliot. I don't think I made one single move. I, I had this position before. Right. And with, with Eric, I think, I don't know, he's like mostly whether it was legit or something. I don't know. But it was that's easy. The way, uh, that's the way the cookie crumbles. But no, you've been playing. We've watched your games. You've been very strong. Very, very strong. Yeah, that was a fantastic 10 and 0 on that Friday night blitz. I know. Actually, I was not going oh, I to didn't see. I wasn't there for that. I, I didn't plan to play, play Blitz, and usually, like, before the tournament, I can say whether it's going to be a good game or not. I played one or two practice games, and I see, like, I see the whole board. I was excited <laughs> to play. Wow. And I, was, I was so afraid to lose this skill, so I even played, like, 10 games after the tournament just to prolong it. <laughs> Right. Yeah, yeah. The next day, it's going to be completely opposite. So it's and in, like, in round eight of that tournament, we saw Eric play Ross. And uh, and I was like, this. we finally got, everyone was like, we finally got the dream matchup they've been waiting. And uh, he, he won it's it. It's a little bit unfair because I had this close Sicilian position, like this combination, night of five. I had it before. So I uh -huh. didn't, I kind of knew it like. So. Right. Yeah. So home preparation. It's fun. like you know, I play this close at Sicilian for forty years. I cannot stand it anymore. Like I, I cannot. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. So we got here Clarence Lehman against Omia Vidyarthi. So let's. So, so how many players do we have today? Uh, we have to look at the start of the tournament. We had around uh, fifty. We'll probably get a little over sixty by the time uh, everything is mm. done. I, I do see Eric Lee won uh, his game. Okay. It looks like queen b4 is a good move here, maybe. White trying to drum up some kind of attack here um, while black's king is stuck in the center. Or, we have queen or maybe b5. queen a5 check first, yeah. And then queen c5. Or queen b4. Oh, queen before, yeah. You, Defense and knight, at least. He's going to take, gonna take on f8, right? Oh, yeah, take on f8, yeah. Well, maybe queen a5 check was not so good. Right, because uh, now the bishop is yeah. coming in. I think Frank James Marshall needed to have a, a, a bit of a think before playing queen a5 check. Yeah. King e8 seems to put him on the spot. Queen b4 would have protected the knight. Now, just like Natalia says, rook takes f8. 
Well, he can go like rook of one or take on b7 and then uh, go. No, rook of one, like check on d4, right? Yeah. So, I guess you're rook down, so I'm kind of not looking for the. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. And pawn. Rook down, then it's so unfortunate. Mm. Then white needs a lot of help. Yeah. Down. I didn't notice at first that it's like I thought, oh, okay. Yeah. He's going to. Piece and the piece, the piece is going to be equal, but yeah, rook down is unfortunate. What are, are there any other interesting games? I'm not, I'm not on chess.com, so you want to take a look at uh WACJ, which is John Canessa. Nice, and he's playing George Solias, right? He's mm -hmm. also a regular chess player, right? Yeah, yeah, we got at mechanics, mechanics yeah. players here. So oh, I don't know Solius. So John Canessa is white. Uh, he's, he seems to be up significantly. I think this is... Uh, Two pieces? Yeah. That's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Piece of cake. Plus he's trading queens. Yikes. <laughs> this is very like bad for him. So John Canessa is um, is a freshman at Santa Clara University, I think. Uh, <laughs> Black is playing hilarious. <laughs> Can we put some game with equal uh, pieces? Number Rook takes pieces? f3 is just a, yeah, oh. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Michael Walder's game is pretty. Yeah, oh, Michael's play. I was going to say, let's go to Michael Walder's game. He's with uh, uh, with White here against uh, TM the Master, who's. Um, Who's Winston rated He's Winston. a young, young chess fan, chess boy. Yeah, we know, we know Winston. We know Winston. Okay. <laughs> well, you know, this is actually, I'm going to make a, a crazy prediction. I don't think Michael Walder has won this tournament yet, has he? No, he's coming third. All yeah. right. Well, I predict he's going to pull out, pull one out of the hat here. Wow. And, you're going for the uh, experience over youth. He's 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 overdue. Uh, he's they, overdue. This game, you're talking the tournament in general. Like just winning first. In oh, the, winning the first uh, I mean, it's difficult. Yeah, I, I know it's difficult, but Michael can do but it. <laughs> Probably you and Paul, if we would play, I'm not sure if one of us would take a first prize. <laughs> I don't, I don't know, but he's played a lot. So <laughs> er, er, Eric's gonna have something to say about it. Uh, I know, I know, I know. Somewhere. I know, but he can do it, right? I mean, it's it's it, you know, it's not unreasonable to think that he can take Eric on on a single game in one game. Sure, yeah. sure. And and uh, plus, I've got nothing else to do other than make predictions like this. <laughs> and you're either going to be right or you're going to be wrong. Yeah, yeah there you that's go. That's it. But you should make your predictions wisely, right? Not like pick any player. Okay. <laughs> My my second prediction is Eric Lee will win the tournament. No, this is not interesting. Oh, that's you're, boring. Exactly, I agree. Yeah. You're going out on a limb. I have some interesting predictions. Uh, we actually have only have six games left in this uh, round. Yeah, it's like a quick round. It um, seems quick round. It feels. Uh, we also have um, Elchi Daf Daphne. Uh, I think she's around Sacramento area. Um, Let's speak into her game. She already signed up for the Susan Polgar event, which I'm very happy about. Um, Susan Polgar Foundation will have a free um, championship for the girls June 20th, uh, Saturday. It's uh, open to girls age 19 and under from all is over she, the world. Is she white here? Uh, she's black. black here. Okay. Yeah. So I she's think not this is a win for white. Yes. Yeah. If the pawns are separated by so much, um, by so many squares. And he's, she's playing Rudolf Brett, 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 and, so. and he's pretty strong. He's and the pretty time strong. difference is huge here as well. So. That doesn't matter. Yeah. Really. Okay, let's go back to Michael Walder, or we can go also back to Abinav. Let's. Abinov, or this game, yeah. So Michael's. 
Oh, okay, my prediction is like Abenaf is gonna take it first place, <laughs> <laughs> and not just because he's. Yeah, I'm kind of impressed by to Abinav's game, and let's see if you're right. Abinav is with White here, so I think probably he is gonna pull this game off, right? Yeah, because uh, oh yeah, winning. Oh, yeah. Was the time. Like, uh, one time, uh, like when I played this event, and then he drew with Rost, and so it's like I believe he's like has a very good game. So I put my I'll put my money on Abino. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All How right. about Omia? Omia has been really playing good chess lately online too. Well, not lately, anytime, but. Yeah, she's, she's definitely in control of this game. She's definitely in control. I mean, White That's has fine. some, yeah, still up a rook, which helps. Yeah. And um, uh, Michael Walder's dealing with uh, two knights against a rook endgame. Okay, uh -oh. so let's, keep, let's follow Michael Walder's for the last minute or so. Yeah, this will be, okay. um, be interesting for sure. That's one of right. the last games. So we're gonna need the master's help in. Uh, Yikes! This is a very complicated position, obviously. I mean, of course, white would like to queen the knight pawn. This is difficult for black, maybe. But there's still that pawn at uh, e4. But well, well, white's gonna win the g6 pawn pretty soon now, right? Could very well do that. Yeah. Something's got to give here. Yeah. Black's position looks like it's falling apart. Yeah, it's going to crumble now. Yeah. That's got to be the end. Yeah. There's still a chance here with the black E4 pawn. Black needs to sort of push it. That's a little risky there, Michael. Uh, pawn to, well, no, pawn to E3. The knight can go back to f3 or d3 to defend. Uh, yeah, there we go. And or g2, but so white, white, white just needs to scoop up this e e3 pawn, and the game is over. And not give up too many, you know. For example, not give up the the queen knight pawn. Yeah, I still think, it, it, yeah. Oh, now, yeah. He can go up knight d4, right? And um, yeah. yeah, it should be, it looks like it's just winning. The You know, when knights are defending themselves, each other like that, it, you can get kind of nervous about that, right? They're just oh, look at stuck that. defending each other. Rook g8, knight e7, Ooh, or that, or g, yeah. Very nice. Now, uh, this is lost for black, white, obviously. White's just got to make sure they could hang on to at least one of those pawns, right? Yeah, yeah, two knights. Uh, actually, there's a famous endgame, two knights versus a pawn. With no white pawn on the board. Abel, have you ever seen that in game? Wow, uh, where's I? Oh, well, yeah, I have actually. I, I actually saw that game. Um, it was uh, Vignesh Panchanatham, an international master, won the game by letting his opponent march the pawn down while he regrouped the knights to deliver the game. For a checkmate, yeah. And Hans Niemann, Hans Niemann did the same thing not so long ago. Well, I hear Hungarian being spoken. Yeah. I'd be afraid to get descending because I don't think I would. I know what to do. I um I, I'm just training Reka because she's gonna be one of uh, your admin support uh, over the weekend. So I'm I'm training her and usually I, I mute but I forgot to mute myself. Sorry about it. Yeah, we're getting a lesson in uh, why it's difficult to learn Hungarian. Yeah. Well not more difficult than Russian, right? So this is a good <laughs> matchup, right? There there are actually some strong matchups. Uh, Sri Chiron's a, is a really solid, probably like two 
1900, 2000 level player. Right. Uh, but even on board two, Abhinav is playing uh, Don't Mess With Me 2, which is, uh, I think it's uh, Shashwath uh, Siva Kumar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You, you pronunciation, and, Abel. So your pronunciation is right on point. Uh, and uh, it, I have a lot of experience with these players. So like I've had, to, and I've actually, Judah and I have handed them trophies several occasions. Uh, so we're used to I was going to say that it feels like today is a scholastic tournament. I, besides Michael Walder, <laughs> I, I don't see a lot of, uh, a lot of, yeah, so yeah, maybe we Barbara John, Kutkind and, John and yes, uh, Christian Clemens, but he's he's young too, <laughs> as far as yeah. I'm concerned. Um, yeah, all, all, all the veterans are in the commentary yeah. <laughs> watching the kids play. Well, um, that's probably where we belong. <laughs> uh, yeah, probably. Sh should I organize a 40-plus tournament only? <laughs> the has been tournament, yeah. A 47 plus. I don't understand these positions very much. I mean, uh, you know, yeah, I'm, was... you always think that black should be fine in these kind of positions with the bishop outside the pawn, being able to trade on d3. That's sort of the accepted, uh, uh, it, the accepted um orthodoxy of these kind of games the old orthodoxy oh i see we're looking at the board um from black's perspective yeah but can we move on to the back to board one Repkins and shricharan uh, can we can we change the orientation? Sure. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So, what is this from Shricharan with uh, knight on h seven and uh, h five? I enjoy I enjoy seeing all these kings Indians being played at the mechanics. It's almost become I, like a mechanics opening again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know. So uh, we're looking. All kinds of, Natalia, this you. This line is getting popular now. Like even I play e5, and I remember Paul made a commentary. Ross probably wanted to play e6, but his mouse slipped. And <laughs> but uh -huh. actually, I saw Carlson recently play that line e5. And right. Interesting. Yeah, and Carlson like plays everything. In the, in the line. <laughs> like when White like put like H3. No, the point is white play e5, like c5 instead of e6, like Benoni. Mm -hmm. They play right. e5 and start playing like King Indian with early f5. Right. Okay. So c5 and e5 and knight d7. It's a it's a like a hybrid system. Right. And yeah. one of the three, because what you do in Benoni, you you play in a6 with idea and you force a4. So pretty much now b4 is not in play anymore. And then you close with e5. And there is no typical Queen Indian game on the Queen side, like right. a three, etc. Yeah, it's interesting. It's interesting. And so I think white the best, white the best tries different white to play f four at, at the at the right moment, like with rook on f one. That's what they need to do. Interesting. Yeah. Also, and and so playing for pawn to b four here looks like like Eric's idea. That looks like a good idea too. Yeah, b four. He will probably want to play. Right, but like it will be very hard to push anything on c five. Like Black should have have before e five. They should have played a five. Completely close the. King's That's side. an interesting idea. You know, I've been I also have been playing with that idea sometimes. Uh, in these in these blockade like with the blockade Benoni, yeah, blockade Benoni, interesting, interesting with a five, yeah, I like it. It's a very unusual idea, I think. And there's a five. Oh, they and the idea is like a four and g five. Right, but the white had to white have to switch on the king side on time. And start playing there for themselves. Right. It was a game like day or two before, like 
Carlson Grishuk and he pretty much crushed him on this. How about one. that? Okay. So this is, uh, you know, everybody's putting their their apples in uh, in the cart or something. There must be a Russian proverb for this. <laughs> Russian roulette. <laughs> black, black needs to keep an eye on D7 to control C5 square. And okay. Just, just to use one knight to call the queen sign. Right. But then, you know, like this famous, like uh, the attack by black, it's uh, not gonna happen right. without white square. Yeah, I was about to say it. Like, usually there is a rule in King Indian, you cannot get checkmated without white square bishop. So, and I think white are doing fine. With, because you you need to sacrifice something on h3 and you can sacrifice queen <laughs> yeah you never sacrifice okay. queen. <laughs> so black has to take on h3 at some point here to stand a chance so in in the board two game with uh abinov and shashwath uh uh abinov, abinov, abinov offered a draw and then it was declined. And then literally a move later, um, uh, Shashwath offered a draw and then Abhinav declined it. Um, and now Abhinav is up upon. Uh, well, Black is clearly better here. Yeah. Um, and Some, probably winning. Something went wrong where he hung yeah. upon. pawn. Yeah. Know, changed everything. And it literally happened a move earlier, he could have taken a draw. That's unfortunate for White, who's now completely busted, I think. And busted why? Like, what, what well, you're down mean? a pawn, and your bishop is stuck at b2. Black has moves like pawn to b4, pawn to a4, pawn to e, pawn e5, pawn e4 check. I mean, Black is just, there's a pass pawn on the, that can be. Do you guys want me to flip the board? Yeah. This is just, um, you know, it's a matter of Black sort of finding his way in. This is a one position for black. And there's plenty it's, of time to do that. Yeah. I mean, in a, in a matter, you know, in a matter of speaking, this should not be that difficult technically. There's kind of a fun game also uh, with uh, Michael Walder playing Jonah Bush. Let's see it. Which is a good. Uh, there you go. That could be a TNM uh, let me match. I actually flip the board because I do want, I do like white on the bottom better. So that's just a very old tradition of, of looking at chess games uh, with white at the bottom. I just am so used to it. Um, yeah, me too. Like we like with the old habits. We, we go. <laughs> first, not just. Even like when I come home after the game, like uh, the mechanics, I need right. to have like, my pieces like close to like if I play play it with black, I need to have black like I cannot like look at the opposite side of the board and just come kind of, you know. I would study like. I would study openings for black with the white pieces in front of me. I mean that's oh. just always I did that. Is it like riding a train that's going in the opposite direction? It's just unnatural. <laughs> <laughs> just feels wrong. Well, you are yeah, so maybe. creative. I don't know. I, mean, I think uh, Michael's got something going here. Yeah, he got the square on C4. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, so how does this help black here? I mean, uh, white, rook C1. Is there a tactic that I'm missing? Uh, probably not. Queen takes C3. Um, I, my guess is then white is planning to move the queen because trading on C3, there's no, I don't see a tactic that, that helps with the rook at C1. So, so maybe queen takes C3, queen F4 is the idea. I mean, he couldn't defend on C3 anyway, so. Right. Just... Yeah, that's, that's absolutely true. So, but I'm trying to find, yeah, so. Yeah, maybe you. Now there Queen F4, no, maybe? No, but Black seems oh, to be but, fine. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. I think White's sort of fishing for uh, fishing for something here and has lost a pawn. If you want, we could take a look at the Eric Lee's game, which is yeah, kind of crazy to look at, actually. Mm. Crazy to look at. Okay. Um, trying to find... 
Eric Ericles. So that's board num board one. Eric is with white against Sriharan, who's black. Yeah, and we see uh, Black's problem here, I guess, without the, um, as Ross pointed and Natalia pointed out, without a light squared bishop, you're just, uh, there's no way to play pawn to g4. Right, and he kind of moved his pieces to queen side, but I don't know. Like... I mean, you'll probably have to play it at some point anyway, and then, then I can go to g5, or, uh, but it's it's a long way off. No, but I believe it's C5, right? The piece on G6 is... Yeah, pawn to C5 here is a nice shot. Absolutely. That's that's the move. There it okay. is. Yeah. And mixing tactics with positional play, of course, is... Yeah, what a move. Wow. Yeah. Because uh, takes, takes the knight on G6. Yeah, the knight on g6 is hanging, and now white can play pawn to c6, and that will be the end of the game, pretty much. Yeah, there is. Um, I don't Eric, see any. Eric is looking and, strong in this in this tournament, but so is Michael Walder, and, and in a shocking, I don't know how this happened. Uh, Abinov lost his game. Oh no! Black lost that position. Lost no. it. I, like, so, yeah, something. Yeah, let me go. Let's go back. Yeah, what happened? Uh, <laughs> yeah, we should take a look at that just to just to. Uh, oh, when were we, where were we? Go to move. Uh, what move is that? Um, we. I think we already have the. Did, was this okay? No. This yeah. Is, this was, I think this was the one that we left, right? Somewhere, yeah, yeah, yeah but how did Black lose this? Uh, lost it on a... Uh, Let's go back a little bit more keep, here. Yeah, okay, yeah, no, keep going. So How can Black lose took, this? No, 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 yeah, no, let's keep going. Yeah, you'll see it. Just right. keep going. Yeah. Boom. Yeah, keep going. <laughs> there. So watch. Right, white oh, has to play oh. rook d4, take, take. Oh. Uh, no, it, it had already, had, uh, it happened before that, actually. Oh, he probably blundered the rook, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Yeah. With the three minutes left, with this three one. minutes on the clock, unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so, that's unfortunate because. Uh, and yeah. he forgot the rook, yeah. My prediction. Oh. Oh. Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, this is painful, but that's life, right? Yeah, uh, some um, kind of crazy miscalculation. It happens. And uh, Michael Walder won his game. Uh, let's speak into Amia and Barbara Goodkind. Wow, it feels that Amia is dominating with plus four. Well, this um, is interesting. Uh, to a game where, where White's up two exchanges. I feel Black. like they get paired often, uh, Omia and Lauren and Omia and Barbara. Well, Black just doesn't have enough for the two exchanges that, that they're down, I don't think, here. It's a bit of an unusual... But it's an equal number of pieces, right, Paul? It's still equal. But yeah, 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 no. And these can be... It can be interesting, these material imbalances sometimes are no amazing. but he's gonna take on c5 now and there is no yeah. like, balance probably is gonna be too much to overcome yes i completely agree with that this is black is in tr deep trouble here and eric lee won okay he finished off his game all right. Yeah, that game looked like it was it was tough for um, f the queen is not a good blockader. Coming up is b4 and a f and uh, well that allows pawn to a5. I mean, but usually you want to play b4 and then a4, but I guess it doesn't, it doesn't make matter. any difference. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Black can try bishop h6 here. Black could better try something.
like bishop h6 or something. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, there's you know, there's always hope. There's always hope. Yeah, like we like we saw in the game with Abinov, right? So, yeah, <laughs> unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. That's absolutely absolutely true, especially at these short time controls. Hey, can we you know? can we check out uh, uh, Kalen Melville Mangonel against uh, Bobby John Rudolph Bree? Nice. That is a. Uh, although I think uh, Rudolph Bree may be in a little bit of trouble here. Yeah, and the, online at least, uh, Kalen. Is a little bit uh, lower rated than look at this. Is. Another great material, uh, uh, advantage, right? Yeah, well, white's but, winning this bishop at c8, it looks like. Now, can black go queen c1 and king g2? Yeah, I guess there's nothing king g5. And what's gonna happen? Or knight f8, maybe. Maybe knight f8 is the move. Oh yeah, queen c1, king g2, knight f8, and the queen has no square. Oh no, rook takes c8, and it's pinned. Oh, yeah. <laughs> very nice. <laughs> no, if you can go like knight g5, and then rook c8. Oh, not g5. A uh, queen g5. No. And then you trade and play rook takes c8 check, and then you've got two rooks versus three pieces. Three. Look at the pawns on the queen side are going to fall. The a6 pawn, yeah, maybe. That's true. But maybe black can somehow use the c pawn. I don't know. Black is in trouble there, I think. No, but on the other hand, like if you go, like uh, if you put your knight on f8, there is no like, clear way for white to proceed, right? Oh, okay. okay. I yes. place queen g5. Okay, so rook c8, and now if I'm white, I'd go right for that a pawn, I think. Wow, three pieces against two rooks. Right, but, but yeah, keep, like, coming up is rook c6 and rook a6. Yeah. But there are 25 seconds left on his clock. On the yeah, point. this is pretty exciting. Maybe and black black also has knight h5 and knight f4 check. So and this uh, is this is Kalen, you know. Why the, isn't the white playing always... rook c6? Maybe this is better. Yeah, Kalen is always fighting against uh... the and clock. The clock. <laughs> yeah, making it. Not... Can you tell we've been star players? Yeah, we know these people. Rook c6. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe it'll have been a, a move late. Here comes Black's counterplay. It's like watching a, a stock car race. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, you get so oh, you get so wrapped up in uh, calculating. I realize your clock is about to expire. Yeah. If I'm black, I want to mate white somehow. I don't think it's going to happen. This is probably lost. That a5 pawn is just a monster. Oh. Why? Just if I'm black, yeah. White's messing around here. Oh, why, why do that? Yeah, white is messing around here with the rook, with the rook to the seventh, I think. I mean... I mean, those, <laughs> those knights are going to be a little annoying, though, right? As exactly. Like, white, white, white's pawn should already be at a8, and, <laughs> and reincarnated as a queen. He's getting. He's got the wrong idea here. Oh, check my no. no wait, wait. Couldn't he have done? Okay, now he's a. Can he go king g6? Can he have gone king g6? Again, why not yeah, just queen this just, pawn? Yeah. I, there's nothing black can do now. Yeah. No. Oh. oh. Yeah. This is the uh, white seems to be a want a player that wants to win by the seat of his pants. Yes, action. <laughs> he likes the action. He likes the action. Uh. <laughs> All right. Well. <laughs> congratulations to Kalen. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Looks like he's gonna dodge the the clock this round. Uh, Christian Clemens is playing uh, 
Knight versus Black. Right? Oh, Christian's playing in this tournament. Yes. yes. How's he doing? Yeah, I don't know how he did in his first game. I'm guessing he won his first game, so. Yeah, and he's yeah, winning yeah, this he did game. Win his first game, so he's paired against someone, and he's. Um, you know, Christian is due for a, a surprise win of this tournament, maybe one that's day. That's a Stuart Cat. <laughs> that's your prediction? Wow. Not, this is, not I, this tournament. I actually predict that John Canessa could be like a upset winner of this tournament because I think he has the stuff to beat Eric. Um, yeah. What did I do? He in in real life he's like twenty one ninety something like that. Yeah. Uh huh. But he's I mean I've se I've seen him draw international masters and play some really good chess. Uh, he beat Jason Liang at mechanics. Uh, just nice. Few months ago, mm. uh, so. So speaking of mechanics, like, so when uh, do you guys have any um, updates, for, updates for anyone? Okay. Um, mm -hmm. The honest answer is that uh, even the Mechanics Institute uh, doesn't fully know exactly when they'll uh, open. Uh, I think probably the one thing I can say is that uh, when they do open, we're already thinking of like what tournaments might be like uh when we return so uh we will probably uh have it limited to uh 40 players at the start so for the tuesday night we'll probably do a oh. tuesday night and a thursday night uh where we'll have the lower oh. sections oh. Play, oh. Uh, oh. on thursday and then the oh. top oh. section oh. oh. tuesday oh. so we're kind of thinking oh. along oh. those lines um uh, for that, um, so we're still going to have all, all our online stuff. Our intentions to keep on that, but uh, we, we we do intend to do live tournaments again. And uh, it's just a matter of uh, it's going to be less players, um, and uh, you know we might have to do something where we space you know a, a table apart, um, and even requiring uh, masks and gloves at the start. I'm hearing the Hungarian. Yeah, we could totally. <laughs> yeah, it's not Russian, it's Hungarian, right? Yeah, that is definitely Hungarian, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand it, but I know for a fact it's Hungarian. Yeah. yeah. So. What can, what else can it yeah, it's not Russian, it's not English, then it's Hungarian. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so round three has started, and Lauren Goodkind is playing Eric Lee. Okay. On all right, so she's off to a great start too, a two-zero start. Yeah, yeah, and uh, wouldn't that be amazing to see uh, Lauren An upset there. pull it out? Yeah. And who's on board two? Board two is uh, John Canessa, and he's playing uh, the quest to NM. <laughs> he's on the quest to national master. Right, and so John Canessa is on uh, board two. And uh, on board three is uh, Shashwath uh, Shiva Kumar, who dodged a bullet in defeating um, Abhinav. So, uh, so this is a Ponziani opening. I would be scared to death after this move. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, this is a standard uh, Ponziani opening, I think, right? E4, E5, Knight F3, Knight C6, C3. Right. right. Yeah. It's a it's a pretty boring opening, I think. Oh, it is. I thought it's like more like a sharp opening, more more of a sharp opening. I I don't think so. Well, Leah, I played it a couple of times when I was a teenager, and always with a positional. I always thought it was a positional opening. Carlson hmm. even played it once recently. I think like uh, Eric has like uh, his opening is a so like um, he has a lot of openings in, uh, into his, from his sleeve, you know. It's like he plays Sicilian, he plays like E4, E5, and uh, you know, so many probably he's like uh, playing with trying to, you know, feel different openings. 
Well, one thing that we know that a lot of TNM players may not is uh, so at around uh, 530 before the Tuesday night marathon in the meeting room is uh, Eric Lee doing a full hour of prep on his computer. <laughs> yeah. So every Tuesday. So, you know, and sometimes he's coming as early as five. Yeah, he's got a very professional approach. Yeah, he definitely puts in the work. And actually, uh, Shashwa uh, Siva Kumar has taken on Omia, which uh, is actually kind of a fascinating match. Uh, Black, Black has a nice plan here. Black is playing well. So we're assuming Lauren had to have uh, been aware and familiar with all that, that line she played, yeah? So I put in... Well, uh, put she's got nothing Omia out of the opening. Shashak. If you guys want to, do you guys want to look at it, that one? Yeah, sure. Who's don't mess with me in Harker chess? Yes. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, this is some kind of standard uh, uh, something. And, <laughs> and uh, Shashwa, who's don't mess with me too, uh, if my memory remembers, uh, he beat uh, I am Kostya Kavutsky at the U.S. Amateur Team in uh, one of the rounds. So he's capable of playing some uh, good chess and getting some, uh, getting some results. Well, White, I, I mean, I love White's position here, but uh, White seems to have achieved everything that White would like to achieve in this opening here. Black is cramped. White has a D4, E4 pawns yeah. up there. Black doesn't have a clear plan like for the future, what to do next. Yeah, I mean, this is this is again from a uh, any kind of classical perspective, white is much better in this position. Maybe knight d3 or something? I don't know. Yeah, avoided trading queens. That there's your move, yeah. <laughs> avoid avoid trading, yeah. Yeah, because when you have a space advantage, right? You don't trade. Yeah. Because. Good point. Unless, unless it gives you more of a space advantage. <laughs> so, Paul, have you been considering playing in this uh, Tuesday tournament? Not in Tuesday. I'm a commentator, but actually I've been drafted to play. Uh, <laughs> he played a, Sunday. I match. played on Sunday in a match against oh. a master. Uh, I lost the first time, and then I beat him the next game. So okay. we played and, Elshan, uh, uh, Elshan and Sabina's team from North Carolina, and uh, they needed two players. So I was Paul, top I board. Hey, he, Paul was top board, and I was the bottom board. <laughs> <in> the, <laughs> so how did you guys do, like as a team? Oh my gosh, we won. It, the score was sixteen and a half, sixteen and a half, with one game left. Uh, it was it was uh, Andrew Schley who coaches for us and 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 has played the TNM, and it was that game. And he came back from losing end game to should have been drawn to uh, found a way to swindle and pull it out, and we won it in that match. Wow, uh, so exciting! That, that was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was a lot. I also really enjoyed playing in the four four team match with St. Louis, um, uh, uh, Charlotte, yeah. and Marshall. And I scored four and two in that. So yeah, that, was, that, was, that was another one you were recruited. I last was recruited minute. and played in that. So I, I'm, I, when I'm forced to play, you know, when they, <laughs> when they bundle me into the into the automobile and drive me away, you know, uh, blindfolded, <laughs> then I then I'll play. So we know we're gonna need Paul, and then we say, you know what, Judith, let's just wait till kind of when he he absolutely cannot say no. <laughs> he doesn't have a choice to say no. Right, say no. You know, if you know, you have to do it. Now. I've been having some fun with it, Natalia. I'm scared, a little bit scared of playing these kids, but then I play and I don't do so badly. You know. So. I feel like with this uh, quarantine and like uh, I'm getting out of shape of uh, because before I was like. Um, you know, like studying some openings, analyzing games, like solving some puzzles. Now I don't do this anymore. I just play sometimes like uh, on chess.com. 
but the quality of game is like I feel like it's getting lower and lower. So is, I, like, is is it the time control that you don't like? You prefer not to usually play, or like what is it that? No, I play like ten minutes, like the same control as this online. I play like this the control I play on chess.com. I mean, but I mean, just in general, I don't like. I play, I lost, and I, I move forward onto the next game, and then the next game is like I don't stop, you know, analyzing what. You know, on. Natalia. Natalia, I want to give you some, uh, my recommendation is to play the blitz, play the faster time controls oh, and, right. and just keep doing it over and over because this will, this, this is a good way to stay in shape. I think, I think, um, oh, you think the 10 minutes per game is too much time. Well, I don't know the faster time controls, you develop your reflexes, you know, you know what I'm Maybe. saying? Kind of. You don't have time to think. It's like only you play on reflexes, right? Well, you you try to develop your intuition and your pattern recognition and and yeah. that kind of maybe, thing. Like, maybe I need to mix it up a little bit, like to play five and ten minutes, because usually I play ten minutes. Yeah, yeah. even like, ten minutes sometimes not not enough. I like running short on time. But I mean, like, in general, I feel like with the quality of games that I play now, it's like. A, lower quality than when I was play when I played in the mechanics like in TNMs and stuff because I spent more time on chess than I mean I I don't like to lose especially in person so that's why I kind of <laughs> yeah I yeah I know I'm the same and, way. Uh, uh, yeah so but now it's not like I mean yeah if you lose online that's okay I kind of move move on and just you know play another game and then you know who it's cares? Like it, it's like it gets you out of your routine. You had your routine of the Tuesday and the, the right. Yeah, that's why I'm looking forward to like, oh yeah, come back. I mean, I'm yeah. <laughs> yeah, we can't wait to come it back. Be rusty first few games, but still, like you know. Yeah. No, I hear you. So this structure is still, um, you know, Black has probably done the best that they could, but this structure still favors White, I think. And, uh, um, it's you know black is white is either going to get two bishops versus two knights or d sink the knight in on d6 or pawn storm the king side or you know i don't know but uh and eric looks like he's got things in control against yeah let's line. look at uh, some other games sounds good um anyway wait natalia it's good to see that you're still playing <laughs> you know? No, I, I, I mean, and commenting. I cannot stop it completely, but I mean, I'm not uh, in the same level as uh, you know when the games like were live and stuff like that. Yeah, I don't that's know. gonna be actually quite interesting. What will people do? They want to jump back and get back, or are they gonna be very. Um, careful coming back because they feel rusty and they want need to warm up so they do less tournaments once a month and over i mean analyze your games and really prepare at home to come out for that one tournament a month so it's going to be interesting no, to see like it's going to be uh, less people just in general for many reasons right one of them is like uh, people use public transportation right bars and stuff right. to get uh, to the club yeah. Now, at least for first probably few months or few tournaments, um, they're gonna be careful and that we'll try not to use the public transportation and you know. You're but gonna stay closer to home. Slowly, it will come, uh, you know, to the same level as the uh, force. I, I hope so. We d we do know that when things open back up and uh, we do tournaments, we do know that Tuesdays and Thursdays we will have events during the week and then uh the plan is for us to have at least two weekend events uh in a month over the month so that's kind of the current thought uh going into it and uh yeah right, but just kind of setting the expectations i don't think like for the first like the first tournament you would expect uh, you know the same level as like, oh not at all yeah for sure yeah. we don't it's going to take a while yeah, but, it's unfortunate because you guys were on the roll. Like, I think the participations were like uh, increasing, like uh, every every tournament or something. And it's like you, yeah, it was, yeah, like 
momentum a little bit. Yeah, we kind of like switched the momentum to the online community. Um, right. And so, yeah, so now, you know, we want to have the momentum everywhere, <laughs> online, yeah. live. Um, right. Yeah, you guys are great. I think it's like. What do you think of this game here? I think White <laughs> has good drawing so White has draw has probably pretty decent drawing chances. Wow. So Unless for Black, those Black who don't know, Lauren Goodkind is um, uh, part of the um, on the board of directors for the Eid Foundation, and um, which is funded by Jim Eid, Freedom Master Jim Eid, who we miss very much. Um, Jim, we are missing you. And Jim is also on the board of um, Mechanics Institute. And uh, so Lauren is a prophetic chess coach and also a chess author. She has two books um, specifically oh. for girls. And uh, she is playing Eric, right? And uh, I'm honored to have a uh, signed copy of her book. This is uh, I'm very happy about. And she's holding her own with Eric. I mean, the trick is, is can she? Uh, yeah, I think um, that White did, would have done better to have kept the rook on d4 and played pawn h4. Yeah, because actually, this is, I think this is this is no longer, this is not the way that White should have played this. Well, can you go f4, right? f4 check. Then king f5. And then bishop e6. Um, yeah, eight. Oh, no, it's not. King e4. Oh, she wants to... Oh, look at that. Yeah, she wants to go f4. Oh. Did something not happen? Yeah, oh, but... Oh, we'll check yeah, but, it first. You see, now, yeah, first. this is just, you know, it wasn't I'm well sure. thought out. Yeah. I but think she made now, it now Black that. is going to is going to organize an attack on F two and because she was thinking a nice tactic that if he took the pawn and then delivered the check, then the king would have to block the rook. Except that he, Eric delivered the check first. Right. Yeah. The idea was good. The implementation was bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think the white should have kept the rook on D four and played pawn to H four. It would have been quite difficult. And then the king on G three. I think it would have been very difficult for Black to have gotten through in that position. But now I think Black has uh, got some real chances here to organize an attack on uh, the F2 square. That's next, maybe, with the rooks. But, you know, still far from over. But Eric yeah. is going to do his methodical. Yeah, this is this is this suits a methodical approach here. So now is a good time for Black to spend some time and figuring out how yeah, to. So Eric have a coach, or he like self study. I don't know actually. Um, I do know that when we knew him uh, a, a couple of years ago, because he played a lot in the South Bay. Um, he had inquired about having Daniel Narditsky as his coach. Um, and mm -hmm. I actually connected him with Daniel. Um, now I don't know if how, if it, if they did it and how long that continued. Um, White's lost here. I don't know who's coaching him now. I think now Daniel, uh, Daniel moved right to North Carolina. Yeah. yeah North Carolina. Um, I don't know if he's still online uh, coaching him. Um, I don't know. Actually, that's a good question. I, I, I'd be curious because he's getting training, I think, from somewhere because he's been like improving steadily. And... Right. Yeah, I saw him like when uh, Sam Shanklin, right? He was doing like group lessons for kids. So yeah. he was. Oh, and he, the... Yeah, he was one of the kids that took um, Shanklin. The, the U.S. Chess School. The U.S. Chess School. Yeah. Yeah. US chess school. yeah. yeah. Mm. Yeah, Sam is very good coach and very oh, good speaker. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and he knows his way with kids as well. So I'm I'm impressed with his. You know, it's yeah, not, very good not, with not kids. talking high level chess. He can talk like uh, kids level chess as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's really he's excellent. 
So now White's losing the F pawn, I think. Yeah. So this is just gone downhill. It's probably hard for the even like high level chess players, right? For Sam and others, like not to have um, like all these tournaments, like US championship, US championships was canceled and all the other tournaments, right? So it's yeah. hard for them. US Open. Yeah, it's US online Open. chess. I mean, you know, I. I guess at the top, Carlson's got that covered. The the players yeah. are probably doing well financially, right? And but also, um, Fide, Fide just announced um, yesterday they are doing this uh, uh, checkmate um, coronavirus. Yeah. Um, dot com. So go to checkmatecoronavirus.com. Fida is launching, uh, I think, a 60 day uh, event series uh, with with many many events. So. Kudos to them. That's uh, that was a lot. Of, I know that was a lot of work to put together. So, visit that website. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's going to be online tournaments. Yes, these are online tournaments, and they have uh, continuous chess online coverage. Um, let me try to find the website and then copy paste it here. So, well, this has gone. This has seriously gone south for White. But I think uh, White was lost anyway. Don't mess with me. He's about to finish off uh, Omia. It looks like if we can switch to that. How is uh, Michael Walder doing? Uh, I, let's see. You guys are ignoring my dark horse. <laughs> hey, Michael Walder, it seems that he finished. So uh, I don't know. Uh, let me switch to Omia and don't mess with okay. me. Okay. Omia he is three out of black. three. Walder is three out of three. Oh wow! Uh, Paul, you're on the road. Natalia, see, I've got, I've got the magic touch today here. I know. Who would have thought that uh, Abinov, like, you know, blundered <laughs> on the game? Blundered it out. So everyone, oh no! This I, is I an exciting game. Click on the link yet? Ah. White needs something after knight f6. What does sh what does uh, don't mess with me have planned? Played that move very quickly. Knight f7 is met by rook f7, queen f7, and then knight takes e4. So maybe uh, knight uh, queen h6, and then. But knight, yeah, knight takes e4. I, yeah, it looks to me like white's not it's getting like, through, through here. Yeah, overload the pieces, overload it. Uh, and they, they are one piece uh, less, right? They, they, um, yes, sacrifice one them. piece less. So he, here's what I think has happened is that, oh, but look, queen g5, yeah, it's going to be three pieces for a rook. That's not good. Um, uh oh, there is some scattered. You know, Tall Tall would win this for White. You know, <laughs> but oh. oh, that's it. Yeah, but it's like he's like short on time. Yeah, this was a uh, unfortunate, unfortunate because. Um, White had a really good opening here in this game. And um, yeah, wow. Maybe got impatience. If the, the, the whole sort of structure of all of this looked like that there was some impatience on White's part. Wow, look at that. What an attack. <laughs> this is, this is uh, three pieces versus a rook. And White's way down on time. And Omiya's calculating the end. Yeah. King yeah. h2. Queen f1. Queen f1 looks pretty good. Yep. Yeah, that's it. And it was played. Nice g3. Oh, the, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow, Omi, I believe three out of three. Nice. Christian Clemens won. I think he's three. Yeah. 
Oh, we've got some incredible the club players are they're they're taking advantage of the fact that people like Elliot aren't around yeah. and yeah, you know Karen. they're getting away with murder. <laughs> <laughs> they're getting away with murder. Elliot is not playing today. No. Yeah. No. All right, I think okay, we got White so last wants game to... going uh, here. This yeah, is White the last wants game. To swing the rook over to the H file. It's and a round Black is, Black is yes. anxious Two to more tread. Rounds. Actually, uh, Sricheron got a fight out of. Uh... Dan Fran is is hanging in there like a champ. <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure about rookie eight. I mean, I guess this should be a draw somewhere. Rook d8 now. Rook d8. Black needs to play rook d8. Uh. <laughs> I guess, you know, this is another loss of time here. What's going on? Black should win with the, or at least draw with the outside pass pawn here. What's going on? Wow. Well, uh, white wins. Yeah. Unbelievable. Oh, okay. <laughs> white wins big time. Yeah. Uh, Street Charon played like a king in that game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dan Fran needs to go back to the drawing. Shouldn't have been so uh, eager to offer the trade of rooks there and yeah. then lost a bunch of tempo. A whole bunch of tempo. It's the end game. Uh, end game fell down there. All right, so we're in the All fourth right. round. We wow, have Eric. We have yeah, Omia versus Eric, and then um, John versus Christian. Yeah. So I guess let's keep Omio versus Eric first. Couple and of uh, Michael w Michael Walder against Kalen Melville. Nice. It's a lot of perfect scores, right? Uh, we got one, two, three, five. Wow. Perfect score. Out of Michael three Walder, rounds. Michael Walder, Christian Clemens, Omia, Vidyarthi, John Canessa, and Eric Lee. Okay, so this is one of these boring openings. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Paul has certain requirements. Of, uh... <laughs> well, we keep seeing these, you know, these Londonish. Systems, Collie systems, we London. Want to see London? We're tired of London. Yeah, the yeah, and their systems. Yeah, all these systems. With hey, look at look, look at Michael Walder's game against Kalen, and tell me what that opening is. These two guys are crazy. They'll play anything. Well, that's what I feel like. That's what I'm seeing. But yeah, I'm that's that. <laughs> that <laughs> let me let me go back and and see. Okay, so this is first move, second move. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's like random Fisher random, right? Oh no, B five. Yeah, that's a pretty wild move. Yeah. B five, <laughs> A four. I this is just messing with each other. This yeah, is these, like these I'm, I'm kind of reasonable. I'm tired of the quarantine. <laughs> I'm going to do something that's really off the wall. And then, then the other one actually plays along, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. black. Okay, so black should play e6 here, and black should be fine. <laughs> this a4 b4 combination. It's probably been good for black. <laughs> yes, and he played that. Yeah. Uh, if Black plays c6, though, uh, he could lose a pawn with taking on d5 and then queen b3. But now, yeah. So Mangonel has kind of gotten away with uh, this experiment, I think. Black, Black looks okay here. You think a4 was not the right move, Paul? Yeah, maybe a4 was not the right move. I don't know. No, you want to... Like kind of use the B5, right? Uh, like the B5 move, like to punish it right away. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's it. Yeah, I like that G3 B5 opening though. I think that's really unique. Yeah, 
After bishop g2, yeah. g5, who knows? I mean, uh, it's good that the players are willing to experiment all over the place like well, that. It doesn't lose right away, right? So there is still like uh, the whole game is like a hat, right? So it yeah. doesn't lose right away. So don't mess with me as trying to get us to comment on their game, right? Yeah. <laughs> How ethical is that? Well, you know, it, it, it's always interesting how they'll jump in the chat, like in their- uh... <laughs> While they're losing their games. No, just kidding. I, I'm. My, uh, I have a serious lag here. Okay. Are you guys seeing the la lag too? Yeah, a little bit. Okay. Yeah, let me see. Let me try refreshing and see if, for me if that. Yeah, what I'm looking at in the game is uh, eight minutes, 27 seconds for Michael Walder. Are you seeing no, that's that? That's not so bad. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. yeah okay. But it's White's turn, right? Yeah. Or Black's turn, sorry. <laughs> White's turn now. Yeah, yeah, we're only like seven, eight seconds off. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. We're doing all right. And for uh, everyone watching uh, this Saturday, the Mechanics Institute, we are part of the uh, chess.com uh, clubs league. And uh, we have our first match this Saturday, 10 a.m. Uh, we were paired first round with the Southern Arizona Chess Association, <laughs> which, <laughs> whom we played already uh, in, a, in a weekend match. But uh, we're going to have a uh, high firepower uh, on our team. So, our team is made up of uh, Grandmaster James Tarjan. Uh, we have uh, Josiah Stearman. Uh, uh, we have uh, Kyron Griffith. Uh, Kostya Kavutsky is going to be playing for us. When is this? This is Saturday at 10 a.m. It's starting uh, this Saturday. And an hour there's... before the <laughs> Saturday. Oh, an hour before. Yeah. Okay. And it's, a, it's a serious, I think it's like eight week weekends. So eight Saturdays between wow. now and end of um, June or early July. So it's yeah. a fun uh, league. I'm just hearing about this for the first time. And there's a hundred and I think 15 yeah. clubs from all like... over the world. Oh, that match. Okay. <laughs> That's yeah, right. So that pull this time around. The what? Are, is Ross playing? <laughs> Can he play? Actually, uh, if Natalia and Ross want to join in, they we, can. We kick out two people. <laughs> well, we, we don't even need to do that. We're doing commentary, right, for this. Uh, we actually won't, only no. because we're going to be doing the San Francisco Scholastic. Right. And then we're the doing the commentary, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we're okay. doing commentary. Well, forward. next Saturday, yeah, but next Saturday, the rapid and blitz only starts in the afternoon. The rapid, right. so yes, in the morning we're gonna do the commentary for for this one. Oh, okay, all right. All when right. are we getting a weekend? Huh? A weekend off? That that doesn't happen. That doesn't That's not, happen, right? Yeah, yeah, but by our own choice, <laughs> we do it to ourselves. But uh, but it's it's sort of exciting times too because I mean we're gonna have an over two hundred kid uh, online scholastic tournament this Saturday. Uh, we have the Chess.com Clubs League match. Uh, then the following weekend we have the Mechanics Institute Rapid and Blitz Championship on that weekend. Um, and so you know we a lot of good stuff going on. So it's kind of worth it for us to. Uh, you you guys are very busy yeah it's a great job i mean it's yeah like probably kids now like uh, especially like the schools are, are closed and stuff so it's good for the kids like to have a chance to play in the kids tournaments yeah, yeah and we're excited at the turnout i mean judith has been rounding up uh, all the kids from our programs and and just doing an amazing job yeah we're going to probably them. have more kids than we would have had online on site because we are at 2.30 now. I think we're going to hit 2.50. It's, yeah. um, Which is absolutely crazy. In, insane. Is, yeah. Is, is, yeah. yeah. So uh, that, that's really exciting. Uh, you know, and it, it, you know, it, it's new because uh, a tournament of that magnitude with that many players, um, 
Yeah, now let's, Washington let's see where State it goes. attempted it, and they had a really good state championship, online state championship, with a couple of hundred kids. So they are sort of were the leaders on this, how to to do this. Who, um, who is that? Who is Washington that? State up in okay. Seattle. Uh -huh. They had the, they moved their on um, they moved their state championship online. Um, and how many players did they, they have? They had a lot of players. They had okay. like eight hundred. Oh wow! And then uh, I know Christine Christina Schweitz from Washington, uh, Virginia, not Washington, Virginia. She had a tournament with two hundred players. So, you know, there are some um, some coaches and guides to follow, but uh, certainly we are on the top top couple of organizers who do this online for the kids. Wow. So it's good. Wow. Fantastic. And keeping this tournament, the tradition of this tournament alive. Yeah. It yeah. started five we years were, ago or so. Yeah. And we were happy to uh, do the, uh, the shut brand wine. Uh, Jay White had also uh, that, which was amazing turnout, 104 players and, uh, yeah, so it's it's nice that we're able to continue those events um, and not let them pass. Uh, so it's kind of an honor for us to be able to do that and for the ones that are coming. Somebody's challenging me to see their game. Chess Raptor. Who's Chess Raptor? He calls me by my first name, which is... <laughs> Chess Raptor. Yeah. Right? If you, if you <laughs> want to get Judith's attention. Uh, this is, this is an interesting game we're looking at here. And black gets okay. in pawn to C4. I think white missed something here. White needed to take on C5. Yikes. Yeah, they, they should not have allowed this to happen. Yeah, I can't. Uh, not, this is white is something horrible just happened here. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Um, it's funny the moves that are made. Uh, made some moves are made quickly, and some moves are made taking a lot of time. Often the mo the the moves that where you take a lot of time are after you've already made a mistake. You know, <laughs> oh. it's supposed to be reversed. You take a lot of time when you're doing okay and you need to do better. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's shall we look at Webkins. Yeah. Sounds good. And Omia. Omia. Wow, check this out. Oh, wow. In that game, Eric Lee has offered a draw. As soon as it comes up. Oh, he just offered a draw? He just offered a draw, which makes me think that Omiya is probably winning. <laughs> well, I remember. Black is nicely placed here. And I, this had is I had students who like to offer lots of draws. So I set a rule you cannot make any draw in any game. So if like a drawing position, you're supposed to resign. And just move. <laughs> you gotta lose it. They stop offering draws. I don't. I don't understand this five minutes game. Why would you ever offer a draw? Like, right. I mean, it's hard to find. Who it. cares? Just play it. Well, Eric is being a professional here, and, and, and uh, he's realizing he's worth. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. It's a draw. Now, this position holds dangers for both sides, so it's. it's they drew. Yeah. Nice. Probably stronger oh. player could outplay the weak the weaker player nice. here. Nice. <laughs> so I'm moving back to Michael Walder and and um, uh, yeah, Kaelin Melville. Yeah, this they was had the a funny opening. Yeah, Michael just for has <laughs> Frost. They I'm kind of liking uh, Kaelin's game, just the quick vision, but I could be wrong. I okay. think you're. I think you're right. I mean, yeah. I think that Black got something going here. Um, yeah. And Christian Clemens, uh, if he doesn't get checkmated, has good, has decent winning chances here. If he, if he doesn't get checkmated. On the back row, you know. Back rank, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. By doing something silly. 
Actually, this is great play by him in, in holding solid but with John. Only five and Queen takes only five, then Rook C1 may. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for example, Queen E5 is a nice looking move. Beautiful. It only works in checkers. <laughs> Yeah, it looks to me like uh, Christian is is playing a good game here. Again, white end up with an extra pawn. I don't see how they can get it back. Yeah, I don't either. So it's white for choice. Shall we look at another game? Wow, look yeah. at look at uh, um, Michael Walders. Like Kalen is just shoving those pawns right right in his face. <laughs> And there's no, well. <laughs> oh my God. I mean, look at that. Am I wrong? Well, that's some chess commentary. <laughs> All right. That's, yeah. Well, Michael just walked into this. He's losing the exchange. And then Bishop and takes E2. Right? Yeah. That would be probably sufficient to win, I'm so, sure. Oh, your predictions is in trouble. What? I know. Well, I don't know what to say. Wow. <laughs> now, now he's showing bishops in addition to pawns. <laughs> Everything's just right up in his grill. <laughs> yeah. It's like heavy artillery. Like, like what else can you shove up there? Yeah, it's like... Well, um, let's see. Queen B2. White still holding on. I can only hope. You know, I mean, Michael was my, he was my hope. Um, yeah, your first runner, top runner, right? Now, Mangonel, Mangonel is a time pressure addict, right? Correct, in, in, in the wrong way. <laughs> so he, he, he likes hope. the thrill, the thrill of losing, the thrill of being on the verge of losing on time. Right, yeah. In, in, uh, it might be six. There's Grishuk now. He he's the only player that smokes and that gets into serious time trouble, right? Everybody else is a nice boy, you know, or girl. At least he has fun. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. So he smokes during the game? No. I if he does, he has to go all the way out of the tournament hall and who, Michael? Uh, Grishuk. No, Grishuk. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Kram, I was in Berlin watching Blitz World Championship and I saw like Kramnik smoked also after every game. Who? Kramnik. Kramnik. Yeah. Oh, Kramnik. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard that he smokes. Or he used to. I don't know. Yeah. Judy, Did you ever smoke Rost? Yeah, I smoked. I quit like five years ago or something like that. Yeah. Okay. No, he, yeah. he quit many times. Yeah. I'm I'm like Mark Twain. Quit smoking is easy. I've done it hundred times. <laughs> right. <laughs> Mark Twain, yeah. Or maybe it came in way. I don't remember someone who said that. Okay, so Queen T five, White's on the verge of losing a piece as well here. And John uh, Canessa and Christian Clemens drew their game. So okay, not, wow. We may not have a perfect score going into. So the Christian, round. was that an, another one of those draw offers where they were drawn though? They were, okay. yeah. yeah. Basically, so Michael six. is the only one who can go into perfect score for the last round. Uh, I mean, last round, he all, he's the only one who has uh, three out of three and still in in um, game. The rest of the four points are. Or three and a half out of four. So uh, he offered, but I think I was a little sloppy there, Christian. Uh, this is a blunder. Rook takes it three. Um, Christian Clemens is in the chat though. So yeah, looks like rookie three and bishop takes d2. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna peek into Christian's game uh, where he agreed to the draw. What do you guys okay. think? All right. So you can give Christian an advice. Oh, this looks like a draw. Yeah, just it is a draw. Just offer yeah, a draw. This is a yeah, draw. Just offer a draw, Christian. You were okay. Yeah, this is fine. 
Yeah. Okay, let's go back to Michael because we really want to see if he can get in the final round with four out of four. Well, oh, he's he, getting. He he's, he's, he's playing good, like fifteen hundred rating. Like he like sees all the tactics. Yeah. Yeah, but Kalen's actually like eight. No, Kalen's nineteen hundred. Like genius. 19, yeah. This one. So. Yeah. This is law. I think I played. I think I played against him in first round, and he gave me a hard time. It wasn't easy. Yeah, I think he's severely underrated online. Which. Yeah, he is because he's like nineteen hundred yeah. live. And uh, what I'm guessing is also like he. I think he works a lot um, on professionally, so I don't think he has a lot of time to play online, which makes it. He plays a lot of blitz chess. He loves blitz chess. Okay. And he's he's winning here, so yeah. Um, just take the e three. Yeah, White's just down too much here. Oh. Yeah. And now the simplest is just to take on f three, I would imagine. Yeah. And and then then on d four. But there's probably something even stronger. I would play, Rook I would play queen, queen d three. Queen D3, yes. Yeah, that was... Looks <sighs> Lauren Goodkind and Jonah Bush drew their game. It's the opposite color bishop game. <laughs> Lots of draws this round. Yeah, I, I don't know that we've ever had it where we go into the last round and no one has a perfect score. Yeah. Because Rolf is not playing. That's why. Yeah, yeah, Ross is not playing. <laughs> yeah, I'm blushing. Or, or maybe he predicted that someone would draw him and he didn't want to deal with the non-perfection. Okay, Queen so, D3 so. was played, so. Queen D3, there you go. There's no hope. There's little hope here, I think. He can play like a H4 or something. No, H3. Well, now queen t1 and bishop f3. You didn't want h4. Well, to he resigned. Yeah. So. Or knight should. Yeah. Wow. We have two more games going on. Um, okay, let's... Christian. Uh, I mean, um, good one for Kalen. Yeah. Big win. Yeah, our predictions poll are not on point today. Yeah, we're kind of John Canessa. No, wait a minute. I said Eric Lee was going to win the tournament. Oh, no. <laughs> Eric Lee was not allowed to take. We could pay, take anyone besides Eric. Oh, yeah. Only if, only if he buys a new mouse. That would have been. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder again to put his bishop on, <laughs> for the pawn to take. <laughs> Pawn G4 check does not, looks like a black, uh, I don't know. Yeah. King G6. And then just, it's funny you can't take on uh, E4 without preventing the queen, uh, a queen anyway, King G6. No, but he, he's gonna. It's just winning for White, oh, though. Anyway, that, that's the last game of the round. I would, I would just play something like f3 or b5. Yeah, f3. Yeah, sure. Yeah, the simple moves. Not g3. Oh no! Oh. Okay. Now you're. This is a rook ending all of a sudden. Yeah. This could be a draw. This is the or I mean it could be. It's still much I mean, better for white. But... Accuracy, so you need to play like rook really h1 or something. That's a mistake. Now rookie. Yeah. I think it's a mistake too. And now, yeah. Now it's 
So can you, uh, yeah, on F2, can you? No, no, no. you give up on H3 and you go B5 and rook B5. So yeah. you go F3. F3 yeah. now, and then B5, rook B3. Oh, no. Or maybe that works. We'll see. In B6. Yeah, right. In B6. Yeah, rook F3 was probably unnecessary, but still. Actually, it might weird. work because on king E5, he has rook F5 check. Only. Yeah. Yeah. Rook F3 actually is a good Oh, one. Black is helpless. Now, now rook F3 that is just, Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's actually probably pretty simple. What's wrong with rook F6? Nothing. Actually, oh, the, oh, the pawn at B5 was attacked. Well, right. it was it was only attacked because he went king c4. I think right. that I'm always yuck. This is just getting going from bad to worse. <laughs> yeah, this five can be six. Yeah, Lucina positioned. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, doesn't see it. But still, winning all of white's, <laughs> winning all of black's pawns. Oh. Even this is winning. Yeah. It's definitely made it a little harder, though, no? Yeah. Especially with such a low time, like. I mean, she's gotten herself now in time trouble. Yeah. She she had a lot more time. White, what, this is like watching oh Ms. Pac-Man now. Oh, my. Oh, she's like, like. Just make the move. <laughs> no. Oh, my oh. gosh. That was a tragedy. Yeah. 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 Judith sure Ju Ju is absolutely devastated. No, she, played, she might play on the patch <laughs> bit. King H6 won immediately. Actually, oh, well. the, the, the most exciting part of this whole game was Judith's reaction at Barbara flagging. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, uh, Echap Delane 79, for your kind words. <clears throat> All right, final round. Final round. Let me pull up a few things. Uh, a few. Chris uh, Christian Clemens on board one against Eric Lee. Yes, and so I'm pulling <coughs> that up. White is Christian here with Eric with black. Uh, they are uh, they are playing through the opening like crazy. And John Canessa on board two against Kalen Melville. <coughs> and Omya Vidyarthi on board three against Abinov. Yeah. So uh, some good games, and w wouldn't this be a great day for uh, Eric Lee uh, <laughs> to uh, face the challenge of his life from uh, Christian Clemens? <laughs> well, that was... <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think, uh, I think uh, Christian has got to go for it. You know, it's uh, it's all he it's all he can do. I th I think it seems like it's more in his uh, demeanor to to play a more solid game. But yeah, this is probably one where it'll it'll suit him to let loose a little bit. So, so what do I don't do know the three of these positions. White is slightly uh, better until proven otherwise. <laughs> He chose non-ambitious line. Cool. This is white. White. It's Ragozin defense. Usually, you don't play a three. Right, so right, right. All days, all days, he used to give like check on a four and bishop g five and play against c line. And now it's all popular this early c five line. So it's actually it's very popular defense these days. Right. Well, I, I, yeah. Ragozin defense. Yes, it is. But I still think white is better here, no? Yeah, it's just a typical kind of position. I mean... What is it, bishop e2 here? Or? Bishop to b5, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. 
<laughs> I don't know how to play these positions. But these should be fun. I tell you how. You make another 10, min 10 moves and off your draw. Okay, <laughs> yeah. I never played this for white or for black, you know, so just kind but of thing. Drawing chances because all the pieces are going to get exchanged, right? It's a, it's a draw. But you yeah, know, um, is hoping for, right? Eric so Lee like, is doing something interesting. He's learning how to play these thematic openings uh, at a young age, you know. I I was never playing like this at when I was a young player. I would never play these positions, these kind of positions. He's, he's not that young, right? Like now young age is like below 15, right? But he's nope. below 15. Who, Eric Lee? Yeah. Oh, really? How old is Eric? He's 13, right? 13, like, yeah. Ah, so he's almost over the hill. <laughs> I, for some reason, I for some reason I thought it's a different person, so that's why oh, I thought he's thirteen. And I think he no. just turned thirteen. Yeah. Oh, oh, God. The, he was the highest rate ranked twelve-year-old in the country before yeah. he turned thirteen. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't realize it. Then I take all my negative comments back. What <laughs> negative comments? Buy a new mouse. <laughs> <laughs> He still needs to buy a new mouse. There, that was a helpful comment. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I feel like you have to be a, you have to be at least an international master like Ross to understand these positions. Yeah. Uh, I think he's doing. I mean, he's doing fine. I was about to say all, all he needs to put one rook on d8, and that's it. So that's it for the, for the draw, right? Yeah. So you the, just, I don't see where to. I mean, you it. can. It's hard. You can put your knight on c4 slowly. Rook c8, knight a5. Lock e5 square, like queen is six, f6, something like that. So Eric is more positional player, you would say, Paul, or more like tactical player? Or he can do it. Well, well, I, well, I just noticed that he, him and Rui uh, both play these kind of, you know, they don't play like you, Natalia, with the King's Indian, to, uh, King's Indians, and uh, instead it's Slav defenses and. Uh, 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 D4 openings with bishop f4, and I don't know. But I, I think like Eric experiments very much, as I mentioned, like he plays like any opening, like uh, okay, maybe I haven't followed his, his play as much as I thought. One, one thing I played against when this last round, when he had like losing position without queen, he started to give away like all pieces to me, and I was like, they, Why are you doing that? But now I realize, like, because kids, they used to do that. Like, oh, see, that's what I told you. I said 10 moves, but it only Wow. Lasts. Yeah. Well, that's very also, interesting. Abina still has a chance to win on the title. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, he does. And so does uh, John Canessa, which was that's my... That's very thing. interesting. I think Eric Lee's mother told him that he had to do the dishes. <laughs> and he couldn't play after 8 o'clock. His mom has a lot of influence, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> okay. Wow, okay. He's a positional player, so position doesn't deserve to be, you know. I see. I remember yeah. was playing some Tuesday marathon, and I was watching broadcast, and some guy criticized her play, and I thought, no, that, I thought, that, was, I thought that was very clear, and I was like, okay, I need to pay revenge. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was probably the chairman. No, it was some guy like he's like in maybe late 20s or something. No, late 20s never criticize my game. <laughs> <laughs> Only teenagers can criticize my game. <laughs> teenagers and below. I've, I've heard those kids say the meanest things about the about our older players, you know. <laughs> yeah, like I remember she played this close Sicilian Rook C1, Knight C1, Knight D1. Actually, the line I showed to her like years ago. And this guy, like, oh, this is like stupid idea. Like, I don't understand why she's doing that. I was like, come on. Like, I mean, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, because of I, yeah, I, I know. get criticized. So I, had, I, I took a hit. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know who they're talking to. Yeah, exactly. Like. <laughs> <laughs> so we're uh, so this game ended in a draw. Let's go to the next board. Yeah, we keep staring at this <laughs> position. Actually, we're all, uh, my, let's go we're all frozen. To, um, I need to refresh my browser. Okay. Refresh everything. We got uh, 
Wow, even um, John Canessa's game with Kalen. I mean, that looks like there's like no action here. Yeah. Everybody's so cool this this time. I'm yeah. watching an advertisement before the. Uh... That's why I really <laughs> like Fisher Chess. I really enjoy playing Fisher Chess. This is the first tournament I ever. Oh played. yeah, I was watching that, and you, and you're like in the chat during the game, like, hey, how do I castle? <laughs> yeah. I, <laughs> I, I swear, I, I never re read any, even one single article what to do in Fisher Chess. So uh, I got like in two games after 10 moves, I got like hopeless positions. Like I was like, what, <laughs> right. what am I doing? Like, so I need to prepare better for the next time. But Next time is tomorrow? Yeah, I'm, no, Thursday. I, I, I really love Fisher Chess. I remember Natalie was asking me to start playing tournaments again. And I said, I'll be back when Fisher Chess is back. I really like creativity from the first move and yes the, like no theory you don't need to know anything and like just improvise yeah just improvising from the get going and it's all awesome. right yeah, yeah it's a lot of fun i mean even i played the first one it it's just kind of it's just fun it's interesting that wesley so uh proved to be so dominant uh, at it really? you know he, he actually surprisingly because he he knows theory very well, and like his 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 opening preparation is awesome. So, and the, do, the you, do you think it has something to do the fact that he? Do you think it has something to do with the fact that he was trained by Susan and Susan uh, and Fisher invented Fisher chess? Did Susan invent that natural, with Fisher? Yeah, I think it's just natural talent. You need to be creative. Yeah. And, so, but I think, as I, I said, mean, it's a very good game for creative people and lazy uh, people who don't want to study any of <laughs> Right, right, yeah. yeah. Qualified, qualified. Yeah. Huh. At least on the opening side. Interesting. So was, um, just one more question, was playing Fisher Random Chess a part of the training uh, that players did at... Um, at uh, Master? Webster, yeah. I don't know. I don't think so. I've, I'm not hearing that from Susan that she implements that, uh, but she's not. I know they are playing a lot of uh, serious games and, and then analyzing and everything. I don't know how many they play Fisher Random. I don't think so, but I mean, you have Susan there. You got to play some Fisher Random, right? There you go. Interesting. Something I, I didn't know. So. So was this so was her student? I didn't know that. Thing. Yeah, Wesley So was in at Webster University. Um, mm. I don't know if he graduated or not. There was a um, very stormy separation between them. So, but um, oh. yeah, but so, yeah, but I'm yeah. not sure why she have been offering the trade of queens here. Yeah, you might. Uh, it's a draw. Yeah. He wants to eat all the pawns on the queen side. You just play d4 and exchange those pawns. Yeah, another draw. How about uh, Michael, my dark horse, Michael Walder? Michael oh, maybe, Walder. maybe Abin Abinov. Yeah, uh, yeah, Abinov is playing Omia. Okay, uh, okay. Omiya, Omiya, there you go. Um, and what are the scores here? Hmm? What are the scores? Well, both of them are uh, three, three and a half. Oh, and uh, Abhinav is three. So Harker Chess is three and a half with white. Do you guys want me to flip the board? This is fine. I mean, I'll... You need some training. It's like a horse attack. Yeah. Crazy horse. Like horses escaped from the. Look at this. Beauty. What is it? Black, Black could be in some serious trouble here. And uh, John Canessa and Kaylin Drew. Yeah. Wow. Something in the air today. So like three so many many times for <laughs> I was about to say, Crazy. there's like this draw in the air. Yeah. So, but I mean, black, how does, yeah, black is going to lose something, I think, with a, taking on a six, maybe, somehow. 
Maybe not. Ninety-seven, ninety-seven. If if Omia can win this game, I believe she wins outright. Yeah, she wins so the, first. All the others are true. All the others yeah. true. Yeah, Omia can win so first. I think the... it's white for choice here. White mm -hmm. might even have a combination and knock black out. So many choices. You don't want to win like just a pawn. You want a little That's bit hot. more. Huh. I mean, you can take on d7 and bishop a6 or something. But I would play maybe bishop b1 and queen d3. There you go. And uh, just to mention, Omia. Nice move. Omia is the uh, black the, is the women's uh, state champion. Um, I, actually, the same tournament I think Natalia played, right? Omia won that uh, in Berkeley. The, uh, the women. I like Bishop B one. That's a very powerful move. I, Black is Black can't even trade any pieces. He's just t totally tied up. It's one of those positions for White. It's so beautiful. You don't want to even get <laughs> anything out of it. You just want to just keep it. Just keep, keep it, keep it and keep it. Take as much time as you can to enjoy it and watch it, and just don't make any moves. Just, just not more than three minutes. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, white for choice here, I'm sure. Yeah. Any other games going on? Oh, uh, Michael? Um, yeah, sure. Michael. Right, do you guys... yeah. yeah, that's why you have it. Who is it? Michael Walders or... Um, sure. Annika Rajaram is playing Jonah Bush also. So either one. Um, okay, so I have to find. Can you remind me the it's uh Konsaga is Jonah Bush against uh Kira yes. Tori. Yes, okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hello. Oh, oh, have you played hmm? Paul, have you played Fisher Random Chess? It's uh, it's terrible. I had a horrible experience. Just I didn't know what I was doing. I was giving things away. Um, uh, I'll have to try it again. But it's so much fun because you know, like you play normal chess, and if you lose, you you might get upset. Like, oh, I'm not as good as I used to be. <laughs> and Fisher and Random, you can enjoy it. You just. Because you just say, well, what am I supposed to do with that starting position, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, well, white's, white's like better I here. On, on, on move two, I, I play like queen h8 takes one. <laughs> Beautiful. Like, <laughs> you click on king and you click on rook. That's what I didn't know how to do. <laughs> oh, so <laughs> castling. It shouldn't be anything between. Yeah. How do you castle? <laughs> No, any any number. Well, I was thinking that you castle just the same, like you pull your king to the side. But now I'm uh, getting information. Some saying that actually you have to click on both, and that's how it. Yeah, you click on king first and rook first. That's what I tried to do. Like, okay. yeah, you can't you can't drag it. Yeah, I think one improvement, like we need to just play without any castles. Like, why do we need castles in random chess? Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah. yeah, and it looks so weird, like the king moves right next to the rook or something. It's just... Yeah, yeah. but I, I was actually reading somewhere that it's just like with the normal chess, you, you pull, and it worked for me, and then when I gave that advice, it didn't work for some, so I, I was so embarrassed. So I have to... Yeah, nobody that. knows the... Yeah, there's there's some development in uh, Omia and Abinov's game. Okay. There, oh, okay, the knights still there. Omia is down on time. Wow. No, the knights are not there actually. Oh. Both and, of them. And Omia is down on time, which is I know it's not a lot, but what happened? Oh, okay, he, she she's gonna take on C six, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, White's in so. trouble. Right, but they need to move the... Yeah, the balance, Black so. is in trouble. Yeah, even though the Knights are gone, but still the Bishops, now the Bishops turn. That's one thing I didn't never like about Slavic, Slav defense, because they can take CD 
on the third movement. That's interesting. Uh huh. And then this happens, right? You lose a pawn. I mean, when you play c6, you don't want to lose the pawn 20 moves later, right? Yeah. Michael Walder did win his game. So only a four out of five. Yeah, Michael is four out of five too. We have one, two, three, four, five, six players with four out of five. Wow. And yeah. what are, what about King and Harker Chess? What are their scores right now? Well, oh, Harker, Harker, Harker three Chess three has three and a half, so she can do four and a half, and she wins the tournament outright. What about King? She's he's three out of four, so he can be four okay. out of five if he wins. Right. This so would be a great be a seven-way tie or a six-way tie. No, a right. seven-way tie again or a, 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 a win, a sole win. This is as dramatic as it ever yeah. gets. Yeah. yeah a seven-way tie, wow. If, yeah, if they drew or if Abinov wins, it's going to be a seven-way tie. I am... I am completely rooting for Harker Chess. Yeah, that that, that, right. that would be fantastic if she pulled this out. And plus, she's playing a great game. So, um, you know. Yeah, there is no, not uh, much counterplay here. I mean, the only counterplay, A4. So, so do you go like uh, Queen A8? I would play maybe take, take A4 before A3. And the Queen thing a is that usually Amia's uh, brother sometimes plays um, Wyam with Yarthi. I mean, he won a few of our tournaments before, yeah. but he's not playing today. And, and actually, Ross played him in the Friday Blitz 2007 Checkmate. Uh, that's Harker Chess's uh, older brother. brother. So Queen E5, what, what's the idea? Queen H5, G4, G5 or something. I mean, maybe. Wow. And Omiya has to be aware that he, if she win F4, F5. Wow, if I was black, I'm not sure I would have allowed this. Nope. Things are things are starting to look. Uh, Bishop G6 maybe was a, an idea. Oh. Yeah. Yikes. White is so dominant here. You just think it's can't, it's black shouldn't be able to hold on. It bit, wow. But this is a dramatic finish here. But Bishop G6. Bishop G6. Yeah. This was not a good move, right? Uh, he wants rook, uh, Bishop F7, rook D. The, you need to move. You need to remove root from B to somewhere. Yeah, and there's also the rook at C1. White has to be careful; doesn't drop the rook at C1 too. Wow, this is a nice move, Bishop G6. I guess. Oh, nice. Oh, this is a nice move. Yeah, maybe rook D7 and give up the rook at C1. Does White have enough there, though? Yeah. But they don't want too much. Of well, the time they is should so have had this all figured out a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, and they are. <laughs> oh, no. Wow. Okay, uh, my I, prediction. Is no, gonna... you can do. You can just do bishop f7 and queen e6. Nice move, Rost. Yeah, there it is. Nice move. Oh. Really nice. Oh. Wow. Ooh. Wait a minute. Oh no! Something went wrong, right? Yeah. Oh, look at Blunder. Oh my God! What is black blonde. unable oh. to? Black has to. Uh, and now Queen C8. Omi is offering a draw. Yeah. No draws. Yeah, but Ooh. no draw. Oh, that is it! Wow. Who's offering a draw? That's too Omi bad. <laughs> because the white, because she's losing now. What a tragedy! Yeah, that's too bad. Of course, hey, it's it not over it's, yet. No, it is all pretty much over. But yeah, yeah I know. But, but, but both are really long time, right? Yeah. 
We've seen we've seen some horrible things happen already. Well, when I have like ten seconds left, I cannot think of anything. No, else. but it's increment, right? Oh, so it's okay. increment. Well, but just only plus two, so it's not a whole lot. You can't really build up a significant time with plus two too much, right? Can you? No, I mean plus two is enough time to. It should be, but you have to re. I have to play quick. You still have to react. Yeah, no, it's okay. It's getting yeah. really badly. No, yeah. he's gonna. He's okay. Didn't even need to do that. Just need to go. Yeah, this is over. I this guy. He he's pretty fast. So. Yeah. 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 No miracle. And let's give props to Abhinav for hanging in there and finding the and a four way, a seven way tie for first. Yeah. Unbelievable. Find this knight d seven move. And... Yeah, it's like out of he didn't have much choice. Knight d seven was a great move. And he found it through bishop g six. Oh, like it's pretty. Wow, and they played it out till checkmate. Right. Um, so, which one move was was? Uh, you remember how many moves? Right. <laughs> Two three hundred moves. And back. guess who wins the tournament on tie breaks? It's Christian Clemens. Wow. And then second, Kaylin Melville. Wow. Oh, boys. And third, John Canessa. Wow, club players represent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. Wow. But let Fantastic. me let me uh, crop Christian in. Christian Clemens, congratulations! I'm gonna crop in this final standing. You put in the wrong horse, you and me. What? You put in the wrong horse. Like our <laughs> you, you bet on the wrong. Yeah, no, I know, I know. Yeah. I'm 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 trying to pull. A... There you go. Look at so this. So Christian one. wins his first ever Tuesday night marathon. Yeah. Yeah, wow. Tuesday night online. Online marathon. Online. Yeah. Well, you know, he's look at that. Christian look at that. Those are the standards. In the chat, though, so let's congratulate him. He's in the chat. Yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah. National anthem. Yeah, let's get the national. <laughs> yeah. Pour the champagne. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, uh, he's a he's a, a serious club player and uh, as He's had his day here. Congratulations. Every dog has his day, <laughs> says John Donaldson. Saying, yeah, that's a John Donaldsonism. <laughs> you know. So, and, and but just look, like Eric uh, fell to uh, fifth, right, in the tie break. And then, uh, I should have continued to play. Yeah, it's like, what's. Yeah, and uh, I feel bad for Omia because uh, she was right at that doorstep to, to take it all. And a seven way tie for first. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. A yeah. real bloodbath. Yeah. If I was playing, it would be eight places tied. So <laughs> <laughs> well, well, thank you, Ross, uh, for joining us. Uh Natalia. For yeah, yeah. It's very much fun. Yeah, it's fun actually thank having you, you both uh thank both you. on. Yeah, it's really fun. Yeah, I think you're doing a great, great job. I'm looking forward for future chess on Thursday. So perfect, perfect. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, uh, uh, it doesn't matter. It's no, it matters. <laughs> we can I do, I do think, what it's called, banter chess. We can do banter chess, playing and commenting. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. We should probably do some it. kind of buck house. I don't I haven't set up online buck house. I have no idea how it works, but I know it it can be done. So it's there. Gosh, that wouldn't that? It's be... a great idea, Abel. We should have a. a, a like a, an internal club banter chess thing yeah. where, where we get a master playing, taking oh, on. All I, I have a better idea. How about we set up a session where hands and brain, you know, you or hands and brain would be fantastic. I think. What's hands and brain. Um, that Can means, you, that you know, you tell me what, uh, what piece. piece to move with and I make the move. 
So, okay. and then like uh, Rost tells um, my little daughter what piece to move and she makes the move. So there's a brain who thinks about positions and decides which piece to move. But I, as a very low rated player, have to actually find a good move and not mess up your position. With that piece. Yeah, with that piece. So you're not telling what to move, just what piece to move with. I see. <laughs> it's, very, it's it's one of my best chess memories. Uh, I had um, um, Grandmaster Peter Prohaska, and um, uh, I think it's FIDE Master and National Master Tom uh, Schultz, um, Polgar's um, son. They were here over um, still, um, uh, Christmas Eve or New Year's Eve, New Year's Eve, sorry. They were here for tournaments and they played with my two daughters. It was the most hilarious scene ever the two uh -huh. guys because grandmaster and pretty good 2200 player right with my two little girls right best ever so yeah let's play hands and brains that's very fun okay <laughs> sure i'm 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 up a for lot it. Of fun. Yeah, there's there's nothing we won't try here yeah uh, but also sure. also ross i like the idea banter blitz and and uh think about that uh, we can think about that as well maybe where we have uh Somebody taking on all comers at Blitz for an hour, uh, if they're mechanics members or something like yeah, that. Yeah, that that would be fantastic. I think one thing would be very cool, like when we were kids, like played against like like famous grandmaster. We used to play what it's called like double couple chess. So we we rotate in moves, and like I make one move, you make another move. Right. And we used to play it all the time, and then we do round robin. So you switch partners, and whoever scores like more points as an individual player. I mean, huh? That's interesting. Well, we kind of saw the the uh, Mamadjerov and Mamadov kind of did that in reverse when they came to the mechanics and played yeah. everybody. The tandem simul. Yeah, it's a tandem simul. Yeah, it's pretty much the same, but you obviously. You play two against two, right? Yeah, I remember you used to play like with Natalie, but you know, you're trying to kind of. When you see she's trying to make a bad move, you kind of push her under the table. And, <laughs> right. But when you do online, it's impossible. So it's all cool. Uh, right. Interesting. Send, send a text or something. Well, well thanks, everyone, everybody. Thank you, yeah. everyone, for joining. Uh, don't forget, for those still uh, watching, this Saturday, the 2020 San Francisco Scholastic Championship is online. We're on pace to have around 250 kids, which is amazing. And we're going to have special guests on the broadcast. We'll have Susan Polgar is going to join us a little bit. Sam Shanklin is going to join us. Uh, Alexander Botez is going to drop in. Uh, Jim Mead, Patrick Wolf, uh, a lot of special guests. So uh, we're going to have a lot of fun. And Abel, then can you please repeat when, when it's again, when Susan is going to join us? Uh, it's no, going to be Saturday. Uh, she's going to be uh, online with us uh, at around 1230. So if you follow the broadcast, 12.30, she'll be on the, yeah. the stream. For five, ten minutes. It's a yeah. quick check-in because we're going to have a lot of guests. So they are going to join us for five, ten minutes, talk a little bit, maybe analyze one game, and then go back. I mean, the whole tournament is a five-round game in 15 plus five tournament. So it should be... But if, yeah. if you guys are on the chat and you say hi, we'll make sure to say, hey, uh, <laughs> Ross and Natalia say hi. <laughs> And Nick I don't know, lots of admiration for Susan. In my book, she is a, one of the strongest, if not the strongest. I mean, yeah, like, she's uh, like she's a legend in my book. Yeah, yeah, she's a fabulous person. So, yeah. Well, everyone, thank you for joining us, and uh, thanks everyone for watching. Uh, and next time uh, we are online on Friday for our chess social. Uh, we're gonna have uh, Dr. Alexei Root. Um, talking about chess, education, research, maybe a little bit of Formula One. We'll see. <laughs> right? Fantastic. Well, oh, no, both the Formula One schedule is all messed up right now. So Yeah, we'll actually, Judith converted me to a Formula One fan, so uh, kudos so, to her. But, uh, Are you talking about race car happy, driving? It, yeah. Yeah. So. so. Okay, All well, right, thank you so much, thank everyone. Uh, I think we're gonna let's let's see who we're gonna raid. I th I seen Josiah, so let's raid Josiah. Yeah, he is on. Although we are missing Josiah. him, he should be playing for us. But uh, let's raid Josiah. Okay. Yeah, we'll get, give him a pass this time. Good night, everybody. <laughs> see you, everyone. Bye. Thank you. Thanks, Natalia. Thanks, Rose. Bye, Paul. Yeah. Bye. See you, see you tomorrow. Okay, thanks, Judith. Yeah. <laughs>
Well, you are okay. cheated. I'm not sure. And then <laughs> that's right. You got your class. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. See you tomorrow. Oh, oh, we'll see. Okay. Bye, everyone. You are going yeah. to Peter Master jo uh, Josiah Sturman. Bye. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Good night, oh, you guys. Okay. All right. Nice. Good night, Natalia. Night. Good night, Natalia. See you.